Hello, 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 it's your boy Mog, and we are here with another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We're working on case five right now, and we're on day two trial latter. So the second part of the day two trial. I don't know who they're going to call as a witness for the next part, but we will see. Uh, I think they're going to call Marshall, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, also, this is... Uh, We've switched over to regular OBS, uh, just for testing purposes, and because Streamlabs kept, uh, having certain, some issues, and, um, yeah, so we're kind of testing out how things are go gonna go with that, so let me know if there's anything different, I'm gonna check the video over, but, and make sure things are going smooth, but, uh, just in case I missed something, or the... Audio levels are too low or something. Just let me know. I, I think I've got everything set up right. I did some good testing and whatnot. But um, the main thing is just to make sure that this, that OBS is going to perform better than Streamlabs. Because Streamlabs kept uh, hitching up for a while. And while it mostly didn't have any effect on the re recordings. Uh, we did have some hitching during a Fist of the North St Star episode. Um that I don't want to reproduce, so I f figured I'd finally try and troubleshoot the problem better. <laughs> Alright, let's just jump in. I guess that's enough of an intro, right? Let's go. February 23rd, 11.56 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. Um, Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Are trials always like this with you? Like you're swimming up from the bottom of a lake about to reach the surface? But no matter how hard you paddle, you never seem to get there? Yeah, pretty much. Except today, we're swimming in quicksand. So what happened to your sister, anyway? Apparently, she got called off to the judge's chambers. Hmm. Probably something to do with that piece of cloth. So... This is where we turn this trial around, right? Our only weapon, a tiny, insignificant piece of cloth. I'm the one who's starting to feel tiny and insignificant to tell the truth. Hola, partner. They say you show a red cloth to a bull, it'll fire up its temper. That's what they told me when I was a young'un, at least. Officer Marshall. Thought I'd come take a look see at how the trial's going. Looks like I'm late. They've got the home ranch locked down tighter than a fort in enemy territory. That hard to slip out, huh? What is going on over there anyway? All the police I've seen these last two days have been really on edge. Don't you got enough on your plate without worrying about other people, compadre? You could be worrying about the chief prosecutor's taste in mufflers, for example. Um, Officer Marshall? The whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with scarves. She wasn't even wearing a scarf. You don't say. Now don't that just beat all. I've seen the red breeze blow at a slender neck many a time. I saw it that day, too. She was we wearing a red muffler. What? At the award ceremony that afternoon. Edgeworth's seen it too, I'd reckon. What does that mean? In the photograph taken at the crime scene, she wasn't wearing a scarf. So, Miss Starr wasn't mistaken. Well, it's about time. Remember, partner, sometimes you gotta grab the bull by the horns. And sometimes you just gotta let that bull go where it will. Time will tell. Ugh. I have a bad feeling about this. So, what are we swimming in now, Mr. Wright? If it's steak sauce, I could hook you up with some fine ribs. Ooh-wee! <laughs> Why would it be steak sauce? February 23rd, 12.32 p.m. District Court, courtroom number nine. Number nine, number nine, number nine, large. I'd like to resume? 
What's up? The judge keeps looking over at the prosecution. Is something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Your face is blue, your lips are purple, you're sweating bullets. That furrowed brow, those grinding teeth, those watery eyes. What's more, your eyes aren't focused. You're doubled over, your back is bent. It can't be! This can't happen! I wonder what happened to Mr. Edgeworth. Well then, I believe it is time we continued on with this trial. During our recess, I had requested that the prosecution conduct an investigation. This is unacceptable! Hmm. It seems our prosecutor is quite beside himself. Ah, uh, excuse me. Knock, knock? Who's there? Gantz. What's with this guy? A strange, stuffy aura seems to be filling the courtroom. Hey, the temperature rose 5.7 degrees when that man came in. Who on earth is he? Ah, it's you. Is he... Is he gonna say anything? He's just staring. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Uji. The wo roads are packed, it's just me. Long time no see, huh, Uji? How you been? Swim much these days. Ah, hello, hello. No, I've been so busy. Busy, busy smizzy, Uji, my boy. You have to make time to relax. Y yes, indeed. Uji? Seems to be his nickname for the judge? I'm afraid you're right. Very afraid. I'm sorry, but who are you? Aha! So you're a righto, the attorney. I've heard good things about you, son. Eh? Yeah? Uh, uh, thanks? So sorry about our little worthy giving you all that trouble, eh? You know, we should all go swimming together sometime. Jolly. L little worthy Mr. Wright. You don't know the district chief of police? Ch chief of police? He's the top-ranking police officer in the entire district. Freaking Gantz. Oh, Gant. The name's Gant. Da Damon Gant. Not Gantz. I think I had it confused with the manga. Pleased to meet you, everyone. So, uh, to what do we owe this honor today? It's been over two years since you last came to this courtroom, hasn't it? Well, it's worthy here. Look at the poor fellow. I just thought I'd help out by bringing this. Hey, th that's... My sister's muffler. So Miss Star wasn't just seeing things. When the crime occurred, Miss Sky really was wearing that muffler. But to think that it was stuffed into that uh, exhaust pipe. On Little Worthy's car, no less. Uh, oh? It's really quite embarrassing, even for us. W what's this? It's what you'd call a switchblade knife. Quite perplexing, this. Chief, what kind of outfit are you running? M Mr. Edgeworth, how could they miss such a vital piece of evidence? If your investigators are this lax, how do you expect us to do our job? Now wait a minute, Worthy. I have no desire to hear your excuses. I'm telling you to wait. Or didn't you hear me? Yeah, this guy's got a lot more bite than he puts on. Have a look at this document where it says person in charge of investigation. There's no mistaking that signature, is there? Miles Edgeworth. 
That's not fair. On the day of the crime, I, I, I had... Your head in the clouds because you got that award. I know how you feel. But you're the person in charge. I'll expect a written apology. What? Are you serious? Don't be too upset. We'll find a way to clean up this mess that you made. Oh, this is the first time I've seen Mr. Edgeworth at a loss for words. Yeah, Damon Gann is no nobody to fuck with. This kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edgeworth. Gah. The court accepts this new evidence. But I'd like to ask the defense a favor first. Uh, yes? Just to be sure, I'd like to take a look at the blade of this knife. The, b the blade, Your Honor? Well, I don't see why not. Could you open up? Could you open it up for me, I wonder? Yes, well, I think all you have to do is push that switch, and... If I cut my finger, Mr. Wright, I wouldn't be able to pound my gavel anymore. Yeah, but if I cut my finger, I wouldn't be able to point it at people anymore. Come on, just hurry up and open it. Yeah, they, they, just, they just want us to examine the evidence here. Oh. The blood is dry. The blade is chipped off. Ah! Don't scare me like that. I'm the one who's scared. Look at this knife blade. The tip is broken off. And this dark red stain. Blood? There's more to it. There's some fingerprints there, right? Found at the crime scene wrapped in the defendant's muffler. Small tag attached. This does not excuse the actions of the police department. Hold on. I kind of want to take a look at, uh... Am I not able to? There's a small tag on the knife. It says SL92. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not sure. But it reminds me of a similar code. DL6. Maybe it's a case number? That's weird. What? I don't remember where. But I think I've seen something like this before. Something similar to what's written on this tag. It wasn't that long ago, either. Maybe I should check the court record again. Yeah, we already know it's the... The little note that we found from Bruce Goodman. Alright, I guess, uh... I mean, we already know. SL... This needs to be flipped upside down. So it reads, two tw February 21st, SL9. Right? But the game doesn't want us to put that together yet, so... We wait. I would like to hear an explanation from the chief of police himself. I'm terribly sorry, but could I ask you to testify for us about the split between the prosecutors and the police and this knife? Sure, sure thing. Not a problem. Not even a little one. Really. This knife is special, but I can't say how here. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. A detective was killed at the police department, see? What a mess. The time of the crime? 5.15. Scary coincidence, eh? It's not officially linked to this here case, so I can't talk much about it. There... there was a murder at the police department? A detective? That's hush-hush information, Udgy. We haven't exactly announced it yet. W wait a second. You said 515? That's the exact time that Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Order! 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 Anyway, we at the department were all flustered, as you might well assume. We're in the middle of a top, top secret investigation. Don't tell anyone, okay? I think we understand the police department situation. Well, Mr. Wright? Two, detective, two detectives killed at the same time in two different places? 
The chances of that are really slim. Scientifically speaking, of course. I'd like to exercise my right to cross-examine the witness. Very well. However, keep your questions focused on the case at hand. Okay. This knife is special, but I can't say how here. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman, let's press here. Otherwise, I think we need to present the, uh, the, the note. This knife was found on the scene of our crime. I think that makes it connected to the case, don't you? See, there's a lot of things that go on at the department I can't explain. It's, uh, delicate. Okay. Sorry, Rhino. Maybe there's something about the knife that will give us a clue. Let's examine that knife while we can, Rhino. Hmm. Evidence that links this knife to Detective Goodman. I think perhaps the pieces are falling into place. I should try presenting the piece of evidence that's had to be stumped all this time. So, how were things down at the department? Okay, so we could just present it. Bam! Wait a second. Ah, at last. An honest-to-goodness objection. This knife. This has to have something to do with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? Aha! An honest-to-goodness what do you mean from Uji. This is great. Look at the tag on this knife. It reads SL92. And this is important. Why? Over here, we also have... A memo that was on the body of the victim. Hmm, what's this? 6 minus 7s. 12 2? Your Honor. It's upside down. Upside. The picture name on the memo makes it look like it's right side up. But turn it around and what do you get? Uh, ah, ha! Whoever wrote this note was holding the paper upside down. SL9. That's the same thing that's written on the knife's tag. Order. Order. Well, Chief? Ah, well. I guess the cat's out of the bag. You win, Rhino. I... win? Ah. What game is this guy playing? This knife was evidence in a case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. So this knife... was stolen? Yes, but on the day of the murder. It was evidence, you say. Was it in fact a murder weapon? Nice, nice, nice. Good show, Little Worthy. It was a murder weapon as it happens. It was evidence from a case long since solved. So this knife was stolen on the day of the murder. And it was found in the exhaust pipe of Edgeworth's car. Hard to think there isn't a connection there. Hmm. It was stolen. <sighs> Alright. So I guess we gotta press further. Something happened at the police department too, huh? You got a good look in the eyes there, right, oh my boy? Sharp. Hungry. So, something did happen. And why wasn't I informed? Why weren't you informed? Well, why didn't you ask? It... No matter, I understand. You were busy, what with Lana's case and all. Well, what happened? What happened at the police department that day? A detective was killed at the police department. See, what a mess. On the same day that a detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department? That's a fact. 
Surprising, isn't it, Aji? I'm at a loss for words. And the perpetrator? Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him, in fact. Just arrested? That was quick. But there's still a lot of unanswered questions. Maybe you could help, Rido. I suppose I could help. If you help me by giving me data on your case? Oh, good one. This kid's sharp. Okay, here's the deal. I'll tell you one thing and one thing only. Tell me how the victim was killed. Well, how was the detective killed? Yeah, because we already know the where and the when. The where was in the police department, and it was at 5.15, the same time as our detective. We don't know the method. How was he killed? Now that's the interesting part. It was what we in the force call a stabbing, with a knife. A, a knife? That's exactly the same as Detective Goodman. That's the spirit. We're cooking now. Spirit cooking? What? But you know, that's not the only thing that was exactly the same. W what do you mean? There were more similarities between the two cases than the cause of death. It seems like I'm going to have to press this a bit harder. The time of the crime? 5.15. Scary coincidence, eh? Five, five fifteen. But that's that's when Detective Goodman was killed in the prosecutor's office. What? Funny, isn't it? A murder at the prosecutor's place and a murder at our place at the very same time. What are the chances? Coincidence. This is just my gut feeling, but. I'd say that there's a 0.001% chance of that happening. Chief Gant, please tell us more about the incident. Let's see. How can you say there's no connection? How? Because I'm the chief of police. I can't just say anything I please, righto? You understand. Try to understand, Rhino. Well, if you can prove there's a connection, more power to you. Maybe there's something that ties the two murders together? Whatever it is, I better find it and get to the bottom of it. We already did! Two detectives were killed at 515. One at the prosecutor's office, and one at the police department. That can't be a coincidence. And that knife. What was it doing there? I better check this knife out. Alright, let's press him on the other stuff, too. Just to see what he says. Okay. Yeah, let's see where the victim was found, too. So tell me, where was the victim found? Well, I can't speak on where the corpse was found. But I can't say the crime took place in the evidence room at the police department. The evidence room? W wait a second. I have heard of that. The evidence room? Didn't he mention that in his testimony just now? The knife was evidence in the case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. There's the connection between the two cases. You seem happy, mister, right? Happy? We just got handed our ticket to go to town on this case. With the link between the two cases established, we finally have some leverage. We already established a link, the SL9 connection. Now we can get Gant to testify about the details. Chief, the defense's position is simply this. The connection between these two cases has already been proven. Huh. You don't say. Well, out with it, Righto. What's your connection? Yes, out with it, Mr. Wright. The connection is a place mentioned in the testimony we just heard. 
The knife found in the law was stolen from the police department's evidence room. Not to mention the victim had on him the case number on the knife's evidence tag. And we also know that the detective murdered the, at the police department was killed in that very same evidence room. <coughs> Indeed. There do seem to be too many connections for it to be a coincidence. Uh, is this being unsettling? You two make a good pair. It took my men two days to find out what you deduced right here. Chief. I request that you release your information on the victim at the police department. See, that's the tricky part. It hasn't been announced yet at all. Can we get the information unofficially? Hmm. Sure, why not? It's unofficial after all. What? What? Really? Who would have guessed? I'll cooperate, but I can't reveal the name of the victim at the department, okay? If you're gonna tell us a little, why not tell us everything? Ah, uh, well, case information is sticky stuff. You have to do everything properly. Oh, well, I guess I might as well try to get what I can out of him. Let's see. Okay. How about you tell me the victim's ID number? Hmm? Huh? Sure, why not? It's not like you'll be able to tell who it is from that. Of course not. You won't tell me their name, after all. We keep a tight lid on ID numbers, so don't go getting your hopes up. The number is... 5842189. Really? Real interesting. Well, that's quite long. And we have to remember the we have to remember these. It drives me nuts. Eight two I, I can't do it. You didn't even get the first number right. Well, Mr. Wright, does this tell you anything? The ID number of the victim at the police department. Five eight four two one eight nine. Actually it does, Yon. It does. I think. Meaning? It has to be what I think it is. But what does this mean? Well, let's hear what the defense has to say. You say the ID number of the detective who was murdered at the police department tells you something? What does it tell you? Witness. What is it, Mr. Wright? You're grinning like a schoolgirl on prom night. No, I... It's just... I got confused. And this is news? Huh? Just come out with both guns blazing. Like you always do. The police department. The prosecutor's office. Two places. Two detectives murdered. At one time. Actually, I happen to have a police ID number here. Oh, is it yours? N no, Yon, I'm a defense attorney, remember? This is the ID number of our victim, Detective Goodman. Shame on you, Rhino. Personnel ID is a top secret. Detective Goodman's ID number is 5842189. <coughs> Sorry, I congested a bit. And this means what exactly? Huh? Wait, that ID number we heard from the chief earlier. That sir with eight two. Uh, hmm, I've forgotten. You didn't even get the first number right again. The number the chief of police gave us was five eight four two one eight nine. Wait a second, right? What does this? Main? That's what I want to know. The two ID numbers are identical. In other words, the detective killed in the police department's evidence room was Bruce Goodman. 
What does our witness think about that? Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Sharp as attack, Rhino. Sharp as attack. But, but wait, Detective Goodman is our victim. One second, one second. Okay, sorry. He was killed at 5.15 in the underground parking lot. Yet, a Detective Bruce Goodman was also killed at the police department. In the evidence room at the exact same time. Th that's impossible. So what we're saying is... The same person was killed the at the same time? And in a completely different location? It does sound quite impossible. Order, order, order! Chief, what does this mean? No. What I want to know is why didn't I hear about this? Yes, it's top secret, fine, but I'm the prosecutor in charge of the case. Now, just wait a second, Worthy. No need to get all flustered. Your Honor, the police department has made a grave error in this case. Wait. I said wait. Well, didn't you hear me? The oversight, the grave error? Mr. Edgeworth? They're yours. But what? How how dare We informed you yesterday. Oh the The memo from that uh Meekins dude. I believe it was our officer Meekins who brought you the news. Uh, officer Meekins? Mr. Wright, where have we heard that name before? Wait aha! <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. You don't mean him? According to Meekins, you didn't accept the report. Hard to believe. B but your officer, he told me. He said that report had nothing to do with the Lana Sky incident. Detective Bruce Goodman mur murdered in the police department evidence room. Mr. Edgeworth, vict the victim's name is written right on top of the report. Yeah! Well, why didn't your officer tell me? Honestly, I'm not sure if that officer was capable of making the connection. He did seem challenged. In any case, this is a serious error. A gross negligence of duty on your part, Worthy. But, sir, you could have submitted that report this morning to the court as evidence. Then I... Uh, okay. No such luck this time, Worthy. Or should I say, unworthy. Yeah, look at him. That's closer to the true face of this prick. What? Now, what was the second rule of evidence evidence law? Hmm? Well, Mr. Wright? Huh? Oh, well, it's, uh... Rule 2. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. And how is this rule relevant? Normally, you submit a list of evidence to be used in court before the trial. This report wasn't on that list. So, what does this mean? I couldn't submit this evidence until a connection was proven in court. The connection was just proven by Rhino over here. Over here. Good job, Rhino, my boy. Huh? Uh, uh, I... I was just doing my job. No. No! Ah, <laughs> uh, twists and turns, my friends. Twists and turns. It seems we have come to the end of this trial. I know you're going through a tough time, Worthy. What with all those rumors. 
You were even in the defendant's chair just this past December. I apologize for this terrible lack of due diligence on my part. M Mr. Edgeworth, please, just give me one day. I'll get to the bottom of what happened, if it's the last thing I do. You'd better get results this time, really. You have my profound apologies, sir. Poor Mr. Edge Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I don't think there's ever been an error this serious in the history of this court. I will grant one further day as the prosecution has requested. Will that be sufficient, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Whatever your punishment for this is, for your sake, I hope it's not decisive. Very well, court is adjourned. Oh, that was a pretty short day. In relation to, like, all the other days we've been doing, which is very good. And as far as I have seen, uh, the Streamlabs... i oh, sorry, the OBS hasn't frozen up like Streamlabs was. So I think we made some good progress. Anyways. Now we got... Day 2 Investigation. And then we'll... Go from there. I, I don't know what, uh... I don't know what the investigation is going to entail. I don't remember exactly. Because this is a pretty convoluted case. Like the whole two murders at the same time. And da 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 da. It's, it's hard to kind of work out what happened. Uh, from what I remember. But uh, I th I've got an idea in mind for what, di what did happen. But of course, I've played this case before. So... Saying my idea would probably kind of spoil it for the rest of you guys, so I won't I won't yet. But, well, if y'all come back tomorrow, we'll just uh, do our investigation, we'll figure things out, and we'll see how it goes. Until next time, you guys, y'all have a good day, peace out, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Peace out! Bye-bye!